what is the vision for Turbonomics and their software? So, from the day we started, the idea was to be able to control any type of workload on any type of infrastructure anywhere. And when I say any type of workload, it could be the traditional monolithic application running inside a JVM that runs inside the virtual machines, all the way to microservices running in Docker containers on any type of infrastructure, any type of hypervisor, physical, physical, physical. any type of compute, physical compute, storage, networks, any type of cloud platform, and anywhere, whether it's running on-prem or off-prem, on AWS, Azure, software, or any of the public clouds. So that was the idea from day one, because if we want to assure application performance, we need to be able to look at any type of workload on any type of infrastructure and holistically be able to figure out continuously what is the state that the environment needs to be in to make sure that the application gets the resources that they need. So if you look at how we evolved over time, we started by looking at the virtual machines running on a physical compute and, and some data stores. But since then, we continuously expand up and down the stack. We went down to the physical compute, the physical storage, the physical net, the network. We also went up the chain to look at application, JVM, different type of application running inside the VM, expanding as and when containers showed up, so we added the support to containers. When and recently, when cloud cloud operating system showed up like Mesos and Kubernetes. We added support and integrated with those layers of the stack. And the same for the past layers like OpenShift and Cloud Founder. So, the, and by the way, in all, in all those layers which are open source, both OpenStack, Kubernetes, Mesos, Cloud Founder and OpenShift, in all of those layers, we are interfacing with whatever they expose, but we also contribute our own pieces to the open source to make sure that those environments are properly controlled in the desired state. Now, as workload moves to the public cloud, we also control that workload running on AWS, Azure, and software. Furthermore, we added the ability to continuously uh, analyze the, uh, the spend of these workloads in the public cloud and control them within a specified budget. So now, not only that we are looking at the performance, we take the performance needs of the application together with the compliance needs of the application together with the cost, and all of that becomes one big multi-dimension trade-off that drives the decisions of what workload to run when and what workload to run where and when. Thanks very much. Thank you.